success is never an accident it is as a result of continuous effort dear friends our world is in a big paradigm shift it is not to be before covid and after covid you know the big pandemic that hit the entire world make the loss of a lot of jobs and a lot of pupils thrown away from their crown but this times also will will go from ours at that times you know the only the competent only the efficient person can survey listen viewers it is for you is a big chance for you when this pandemic is over the firms and companies will look for the fresh blood at that times you try to be you want it to be you get the achievement right welcome once again to my channel that is ajd chemistry just like you i am also stranded in my home there is no job to do no where to go so i have started a channel like this so in the coming days itself in the coming days also i will do at least one lesson per day if you subscribe this channel that is ajd chemistry definitely you can access this videos very easily once again welcome to my channel that is hat chemistry students last days i have discussed about uh, different types of electronic effect in the organic chemistry resonance effect i have did a lesson hyperconjugation in another lesson today i am going to discuss about the application of this electronic effect you know in my view in my mind when i am doing a lesson i have an objective the objective of this lesson is that if you study these things you can answer the objective type questions that is asked in your neat examination iit jee examination iit jam examination csir examination and other high level competent competition examinations competitions so let us start this lesson application of electronic effect electronic effect have a number of application it will explain the actually the properties of all the organic compound is explained by this electronic effect therefore it is very important a lot of questions will be asked in this parts also today i am discussing only about the stability of carbocations stability of carbocations first of all understand that you should get a, i already did the lesson nevertheless i am saying just is preliminary ideas you should understand that there are major major or the permanent electronic effect that is one is resonance next one is hyperconjugation next one is inductive you understand that the resonance effect is more prominent than hyperconjugation which is more stronger than inductive effect now so if you given a molecules you have look at whether a resonance is possible in that molecules and then you goes to hyperconjugation and then you goes to inductive effect now let, let us look at how the resonance is possible or when the resonance is possible resonance is possible if plus free radicals double bond lone pair or negative charge is in conjugation with the double bond another double bond or a plus is in conjugation with the lone pairs that is good what do you mean by this conjugation you know look at this molecules there is a plus charge is here there is a plus charge is here and double bond is also here now look at whether this plus and double bond is in conjugation or not you know what is conjugation means there is plus then just after this plus you can find a single bond then you can find a double bond if you find these things followed by a single bond and then next question double bond we can see that they are in conjugation here you can find that plus single double definitely they are in conjugation therefore at that times what you can do that we can what we can do that that is 
this pi electrons goes to here due to this you will get a, a plus charge here this will become double bond i have already did a, a, a lesson on this hyper, uh, on resonance now look at here is it resonance is possible here is it possible you know pi pi is there then single bond again pi therefore i can say that this pi or this double bond and this double bond are in conjugation look at this molecule is it possible or not you know plus is the plus is the then single bonds then again single bonds then only after pi bonds comes or uh, double bond comes therefore this plus and double bonds are not in conjugation therefore no resonance is here similarly ch2 plus double bond here again plus is the just after this plus you can find a pi bond here again also resonance is not possible here resonance is possible because lone pairs lone pairs here single bond is here and double bond is here lone pair single double they are in conjugation therefore resonance is possible one more example that is ch2 plus o these molecules here you can find that lone pair is there that is lone pair is there followed by a single bond then a plus then a plus therefore here also resonance is possible here also resonance is possible these are the criteria for the molecule to show the resonance if you wanted these things i will give you a, a just a simple idea i am repeating what i have said in my previous lessons you know the groups take part in resonance can be classified into two one is plus r group and minus r groups example for plus r group is rh och3 nh2 x nhr then ocor then nhcor etc how can you identify this group as a plus r group it is because all this group have lone pairs all this groups have lone pairs that is attached all the in this group in this groups the atom which is attached to the benzene ring or or another double bond system have lone pairs here lone pair lone pair lone pair lone pair lone pair lone pair these are plus r groups minus r groups in the example that is no2 c triple bond and coh coh etc you can understand very easily whether it is a minus r group it is by that is you know these groups have uh, multiple bonds multiple bonds that is n double bond o c triple bond n c double bond o c double bond o here again multiple bond is there but nevertheless it is a plus r group because the atom attached to the benzene ring have a lone pairs but here the atom attached to the benzene ring if there is a benzene ring the atom attached to the benzene ring have a double bond here again the atom attached to the benzene ring have a triple bond then double bond etc etc that is there is an easy method to find out whether the group is a plus r group or minus r groups similarly the groups in the inductive effect you can also classify into minus i group and plus i groups example for minus i group is nh3 plus no2 cho then co coh oh f cl br i this one that is alkenyl group alkynyl group benzene or means phenyl group then alkenyl groups also comes under the category minus i effect plus i effect o minus co minus and all alkyl groups in this alkyl group tertiary is more have have more plus i effect than secondary then which is having more plus i effect than primary look at here you know here there is oh group here there is oh groups you can see that in the resonance effect oh group have plus r effect plus r means electron donating in the inductive effect oh group have minus i effect that is electron withdrawing that is a contradiction here the if so 
that is due to resonance it is losing electrons due to inductive effect it is gaining electrons keep in mind that in almost all conditions resonance effect is important resonance effect is more powerful than inductive effect that is oh group have plus r and minus i effect but resonance is more important than inductive effect if so the net effect is that this is a electron electron donating group here resonance is important than inductive resonance have a plus r effect inductive have a minus i effect therefore it is the net result is electron donating groups in the case of no2 group no2 group no2 group you can see that no2 group is here minus r electron withdrawing no2 group is here also minus i electron withdrawing therefore it is a no2 group have a minus r and minus i the net effect is that is electron withdrawing but one thing you can keep in mind that in the case of halogen halogen it have halogen have a plus r effect but in the inductive effect it is having minus i effect i told you earlier resonance is more important than inductive effect if so this effect this group should be electron donating but in the case of halogen only the things are different at that time inductive effect have more in important than resonance effect if so i can say that uh, minus it have minus i effect it have plus r effect the net result is that it is electron withdrawing electron withdrawing in the other case electron donating but in this case it is electron withdrawing because in the case of halogen inductive effect is more important than resonance effect but in the in the case of other groups uh, resonance is more important than inductive effect one more point you have to keep in mind that resonance effect is important when it is present at ortho and para positions if the group is present at ortho and para position of the benzene ring resonance effect have importance if it is present at meta position only inductive effect have the importance these things i will discuss on question discussion question discussion part i will do some examples you can understand at that time thoroughly after looking the resonance effect you are look at the whether the molecule in the molecule hyperconjugation is possible or not i told you that hyperconjugation is possible only if plus free radicals and double bond is present and alpha ch is present here you can see that plus is the the carbon attached to this plus is known as alpha carbon therefore there are three alpha hydrogen therefore hyperconjugation is possible here again free radical is present this is alpha carbon this is alpha carbon therefore you can find that total three here three here six alpha hydrogen is the therefore hyperconjugation is possible after looking hyperconjugation you have to look at the inductive effect you know inductive effect is important if the molecule have a plus or a minus charge here this have a plus charge this group you know methyl group i told you that methyl group have plus i effect that is just like this way it is, it is electron is uh, pushed to this carbon atom definitely the intensity of the plus charge decreases as the intensity of plus charge decreases the molecule get becomes more and more stable but in this case you know if in this case also ch3 group have plus i effect electron will be pushed to this carbon therefore the intensity of the negative charge increases that means the molecule get destabilized that point also keep in mind on doing the problems right now we can go to the problems now look at the first question arrange the following in the order of stability one molecule is the and the molecule second molecules third molecule is the fourth molecule is the i request you that after writing after reading this questions you just pause
press your pause button in your uh, video then you find out yourself the answer then you check whether it is right or wrong after viewing the rest of this video look at here just pause it and then i'm going to do the answers here i told you that you have, you have what you have to look at is that if you are given a molecules you have five, first look at whether resonance is possible or not you can find that there is plus charge then it is actually ch2 ch2 plus ch2 plus then first position single next position double the four resonance is possible look at this molecules here again resonance is possible plus single double plus single double plus single double in all the cases resonance is possible and only it is a one only one conjugated system all are one conjugated system all the cases resonance is possible all are one conjugated system so by comparing the resonance properties you cannot say the stability of this molecules after comparing the resonance property i told you that next one is hyperconjugation how can we do the hyperconjugation you know even though there is a double bond here and plus is there this double bond changes from this position to this position due to resonance therefore this whole is our system under consideration now go to these molecules this is all is the system under consideration because double bond is changing its positions here this is the system here this is the system i told you in earlier in the lesson that is hyperconjugation the carbon attached to this system is we call it as alpha therefore this is taken as alpha carbon this is another alpha because it is again connected to this one alpha carbon here it is again alpha carbon you know you can you can find that here actually this ch3 you can find that here there is three alpha hydrogen here again three alpha hydrogen and three alpha hydrogen totally will get nine alpha hydrogen here three alpha hydrogen three alpha hydrogen because ch3 ch3 again six alpha hydrogen here only here alpha carbon only three alpha hydrogen here there was there is zero alpha hydrogen resonances are same in all the cases but hyperconjugation is different here you can find that most number of hyperconjugation due to nine alpha hydrogen therefore we can say that one two three and four the most stable is four higher than here there are six alpha hydrogen the fourth third is higher than then three alpha hydrogen two is higher than that is uh, one that is how the answer of this question is right now look at the first question arrange the following in the order of stability one molecule is there and the molecule second molecules third molecule is there fourth molecule is there i request you that after writing after reading this questions you just pause press your pause button in your uh, video then you find out yourself the answer then you check whether it is right or wrong after viewing the rest of this video look at here just pause it and then i'm going to do the answers here i told you that you have, you have what you have to look at is that if you are given a molecules you have five, first look at whether resonance is possible or not you can find that there is plus charge then it is actually ch2 ch2 plus ch2 plus then first position single next position double the four resonance is possible look at this molecules here again resonance is possible plus single double plus single double plus single double in all the cases resonance is possible and only it is a one only one conjugated system all are one conjugated system all the cases resonance is possible all are one conjugated system so 
by comparing the resonance properties you cannot say the stability of this molecules after comparing the resonance property i told you that next one is hyperconjugation how can we do the hyperconjugation you know even though there is a double bond here and plus is there this double bond changes from this position to this position due to resonance therefore this whole is our system under consideration now go to these molecules this is all is the system under consideration because double bond is changing its positions here this is the system here this is the system i told you in earlier in the lesson that is hyperconjugation the carbon attached to this system is we call it as alpha therefore this is taken as alpha carbon this is another alpha because it is again connected to this one alpha carbon here it is again alpha carbon you know you can you can find that here actually this ch3 you can find that here there is three alpha hydrogen here again three alpha hydrogen and three alpha hydrogen totally will get nine alpha hydrogen here three alpha hydrogen three alpha hydrogen because ch3 ch3 again six alpha hydrogen here only here alpha carbon only three alpha hydrogen here there was there is zero alpha hydrogen resonances are same in all the cases but hyperconjugation is different here you can find that most number of hyperconjugation due to nine alpha hydrogen therefore we can say that one two three and four the most stable is four higher than here there are six alpha hydrogen the fourth third is higher than then three alpha hydrogen two is higher than that is uh, one that is how the answer of this questions right now look at the second question the question is same arrange the following in the order of stability of carbocations all are carbocations i told you that the first one is this one the second one is this one third one this fourth one this fifth one this and sixth one you just press your pause button in your video and then write down these questions then you find out your own way to find, get the answers and after that you play my result if so it will be benefited for you on doing these questions right i told you on doing the questions first you have to look at whether resonance is possible or not plus single double resonance is possible here plus single double resonance is possible plus single double resonance is possible because they are conjugated plus single double single double again these are much more higher conjugation than this molecule therefore these all are in conjugated system more number of resonance structure is possible here plus single double resonance is possible plus single double single double single double single all are in conjugated system therefore highest number of resonance structure is possible in this molecules therefore we can say that here the most number of resonance structure is possible therefore the most stable is the sixth one then just next is that is a fourth one because this also have more number of resonance structures than this molecules fourth one higher than here and in all the cases resonance is possible now you have to look at the alpha hydrogen atom or hyperconjugation you can find that alpha carbon alpha carbon alpha carbon totally will get nine alpha hydrogen therefore here you can get alpha carbon alpha carbon you will get six alpha hydrogen only one alpha carbon three alpha hydrogen there is no alpha carbon therefore zero alpha hydrogen therefore after six and fourth the third one is most stable and next second and next one and finally five that is the answer for this questions right now look at the third question the question is same arrange the following in the order of stability this molecule and this molecule and this molecule is a very simple questions you know this is asked in iit je 2013 look at this questions pause button press your pause button and then 
you try to do yourself then the explanation is plus single double conjugation resonance is possible only plus no resonance plus single double single double single double large number of conjugation highest number of resonance is possible therefore the answer is if you take this one it is two it is three the answer is three higher than two higher than one that is the answer for this one dear friends for convenience for your convenience i'm stopping here because a lengthy video will make some trouble you to see the see the, uh, to watch that one so just stopping here few more questions have to be discussed that i will discuss in the part 2 of the stability of carbocations i request you that you should watch both of this video then you will get a, a correct a correct or a clear picture on carbocation thank you